I will show you how to create an automated newsletter with NSN. It works by scraping other newsletters and creating the best content. This is a real production workflow. I use it every week to send my newsletter. I will also explain how I monetize this workflow. Quick announcement, this workflow is available for free in my community. To join the community, follow the link down below. So this is the newsletter that I want to automate. So it shows a curated selection of jobs and I want to create this automatically. And to do that, I've created this workflow on N10. And so basically it works with a manual trigger after I'm going to fetch some existing job newsletter out there on my Gmail. And so it works by just checking out the latest email from a certain uh, sender here. And after I'm going to pass the HTML code of this newsletter. So I do this with a custom code node. And after once we have transformed this HTML into JSON, so we do this for all the newsletters that we're interested in. We merge all those JSON objects, all those arrays, and then we are going to save everything in a Notion database and after in Notion. So I'm going to manually select the jobs that I'm interested in. And after I'm going to run a script that allow me to get this into HTML. And finally, we're going to paste this in Substack. So you might wonder how comes we don't have the last step copying in Substack here in the workflow. Well, that's because Substack doesn't have an API. So I needed to find a trick. And so the trick I found was just to copy into HTML. And I was able to after quickly paste this into Substack. So it's almost 100% automated, but we are stuck by the lack of API of Substack. Okay, so I'm going to run this workflow here. So let's run this workflow by clicking here. Okay, so you can see here the different step uh, that are being executed. Once the last step will be finished, so we should see all those jobs in Notion. Okay, so this is finished. So now we go in Notion. And so now we see all those jobs that were scraped from the newsletter. So for each of them, we have different information, the company name, is it remote, uh, the link, the submission date, etc. And so now my job will be to select these jobs manually. So I haven't found an automated procedure for that. Uh, this still requires human selection, but this is quite fast. Okay, so here we're just going to select 10 of these jobs. All right, let's do this. And after that, we need to output this into an HTML list. So for that, I've done a custom Python script and I'm going to execute it. Okay, so it's been copy pasted in my clipboard and we cannot put this script into N10 because N10 is executed on a server and doesn't have access to my clipboard. So then back in my browser in Substack, so I'm just going to duplicate the latest newsletter. Okay, so that's newsletter eight. And I'm just going to replace those jobs by the new one that I've selected. And that's it. So now I just need to click on continue, then send, and that's it. So overall, it takes me between five to 10 minutes to prepare this newsletter. And the hardest part is in selecting the job to include in the newsletter. Okay, so why am I even doing this newsletter? Well, my plan is to launch a job board and to monetize it. And there are several challenges. So challenge number one is how to start fast. What is the smallest MVP that can be launched for this job board? And the answer is just a newsletter. So the challenge number two is how to source those jobs because at first nobody knows my newsletter, so I don't have any jobs. And the answer is to scrape all the job websites and after progressively to build my own pipeline of proprietary job advertisements. So I had several try before using this entertainment workflow. So for my first try, I used ChatGPT to scrape jobs from existing crypto job boards. And you know, ChatGPT nowadays has the ability to browse the web. So ChatGPT was able to visit those websites and scrape them 
and it was partly successful. Some jobs were real, but some other didn't exist. So I found this really strange. So I decided another approach and I realized that all those job boards have RSS feed. So RSS is a data format, what we call XML. And XML is a structured data format, which is great for LLMs. So I tried to feed this into ChatGPT to see if it did a better job. And unfortunately, the same problem happened. One part of the job it found were just fake. And I realized what was the source of the problem. AI hallucination. Basically, it keeps trying to generate new data and at some point it's going to get creative. So this is when I understood that AI wasn't the right tool for this job because this is a process that has to be deterministic. We don't want any creativity here. So this is when I decided to remove AI from the equation and instead to use an automated workflow with NATN. So I'm a developer. I actually can code this from scratch. I don't need NATN. But in NATN, what is really nice is all the integration with the different APIs. For example, it has this integration with Gmail that allow you to trigger a workflow every time you receive a new email. And if you wanted to do this without NATN, you would need to constantly pull the API of Gmail because they don't have a webhook. So this is just a little detail, but you have little details like this for a lot of different integration. And this is really where NATN makes it really more simple, even for developers. Okay, so next I'm going to show you the scraping part because this is really a key part of this workflow. So the scraping part is defined in one of these code nodes. And first we import two libraries here. So the first one, Cheerio, is for scraping HTML. And the other one is to do HTTP call. So here at this line, we define the different keywords that we're looking for. So we basically want jobs that are relevant for developers here. After what we're going to do is we're going to target some specific section of the newsletter. So here, let's go to my Gmail. And in this newsletter, we can see that there are some sections like feature jobs. And we're going to use this to find the list of jobs because the structure is always similar. So once we have found this feature job section, then we find the list of job that is just below. And then in each list element, we are going to extract the different element that we want. So like link, title, etc. And we're going to put everything in a JSON object. And after that, we still have a little problem because we also want to have the links to these jobs. But in Substack, when you put a link, it's going to change this link to an internal Substack link so that it can track all the clicks to this link. But we are not interested in this internal Substack link. We want the end link, the end destination. So for that, we are going to do an HTTP request with the redirect option here. And this is how we are going to know the end URL. And this is what we are going to keep. And finally, we return everything. By the way, in order to generate this whole code, so I didn't do it myself. I asked ChatGPT to do it. And for that, I gave a sample of the HTML of this newsletter to ChatGPT and also gave it some clue. So I told it, okay, you're going to scrape all these jobs. And here you're going to rely on the fact that they always have a featured job section. So ChatGPT can do a good job, but you have to provide some guidance. And here, of course, if they change the structure of this newsletter, our scraper is going to break, but most likely it's not going to happen often. And we have another little problem because those two library by default, we cannot use them in a code node, but by customizing your Anaten installation, we can. So for that, you need to create a custom Docker file. So first you inherit from the Docker image of NATN, and then you are going to install the missing library, Cheerio. The other one is already included in NATN, but we still need to do something in order to use it. So once you've customized this Docker file, so you need to run this command to build your local image. And after that, you will need to run this local image with this command. And so here, the interesting part is this environment variable. 
node function allow external. So you specify which external library in NPM you want to use. So Cheerio and node fetch. And only after you've done that, you will be able to use these libraries in your code nodes. So there was another way to do scraping and that's by using a service called Epify. But Epify is usually made for scraping social media and it's a little bit overkill for our use case. And with a short script, we can do it without any external API. So I prefer to do it that way. And also it's free, whereas with Epify you have to pay. But how to make money with this workflow? Option one is to run a job newsletter and use it as a lead generation for something else. And that's my plan. So the end goal is to launch a full fledged job board website and monetize the website with ad spots. Option two is to sell ad spots directly on the newsletter. And that could be a nice way to test the demand before building the full job board. And option three is to sell this automation to customers who want an automated newsletter. So you can use this workflow as a template and customize it to your need. The hardest part will be to change the scraping code, but with ChatGPT, you should be fine. And you can get free access to this workflow by joining my free community. The link is in the description. That's it for this video. Bye.